Hey everybody, so today we're doing a brand specific video for Grand Design. Uh, if you have the infamous uh, dual purpose Dometic uh, water heater here, um, you have a circuit board in there that may be good or bad, but if it goes on the fritz, I'm going to show you how to change it out. Okay, so our water heater stopped working on gas the other day and I started doing some research. Um, we have a 2019 Grand Design Reflection 367 BHS model and uh, I got to looking around on the Facebook pages and they said this uh, circuit breaker right here could go out. Um, I came outside and checked all the connections and everything and I couldn't get it working still. Works fine on electric but it was the gas part and I called Dometic uh, directly and they got me to send the picture of the circuit board here and if it's they said if it says this right here on the side, this is Ong Ding, if you can see that. Uh, I guess it's Chinese company or whatever. There it goes. Zong Ding are the ones that are that are going on the fritz. And uh, I called them and they sent me a new one. And we're going to replace that today. I also took a picture of my model number and everything here. And emailed that to the lady at Dometic too. Uh, they got the new circuit board out and like two or three days so they were they were great didn't didn't really uh, give me any fits over it or anything like that so it's a known issue going on and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys how to replace this should be pretty simple alright so first off you wanna make sure your electric to the heater is turned off inside and uh, the first thing I'm gonna do uh, you gotta unplug these wires and this one uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is also take out this fuse right here. That way there's there's no power going to it or anything like that. Alright, so after I made sure everything was turned off, I took out the fuse. I took the, the wiring uh, harness deal here. Uh, detached that. What you're going to want to do, this is in there like that, like so. Um, let me grab my camera. Mm -hmm. This is in there like so. And what you're going to want to do is, if you can see right there, these little flaps, you're going to want to get a flathead and push that way to the left. And these will kind of work themselves right off, these little clips right there. You're also going to unplug this from there. Um, it's got this sleeve over it, so just pull that sleeve down out of the way. Pull that off from there. And then the only thing you got to do now is undo these two bolts right there. Alright, so out with the old and in with the new. Um, you can see here, this one's a little bit bigger. It's uh, See how that one says the Zong Ding there? On it. Uh, this is a new one. It looks like it's a Dometic channel product. So I'm guessing it's a different manufacturer of circuit board is what they're going for here. But it is a little bit bigger. Looks like the holes are going to line up fine. Uh, you got, I've got plenty of room in this model, so... Uh, we're going to go ahead and bolt that up and then plug her up and see what happens. Alright, so there we go. We got the new one plugged back in here. And the wires hooked right back up and the sensor hooked right back up. Your fuse is in there. It's just the two bolts. I even used the same bolts. All It came with some, but uh, they screw right in. So there you go. My wife's going to go put it on gas and we're going to see what happens now. Oop, let me move my device grips. That wouldn't be safe. All right, so there we go. It's back working again, just like that. Uh, before we put the new one in, it would just click a few times, and it wouldn't do anything. So, as you can see, now we got the new one board in. It's flames fired right up, and it's heating up water again. So, so there you go on your new circuit board. Um, Pretty easy process. I uh, hope this video can help some of you guys uh, go ahead and be able to tackle this yourself. That way you don't have to wait on going back to the dealer or you know having somebody come out and do it. Just uh, a few screws, a few plugs, and voila, there you go.